If you guys want more time off, enjoy a lot more freedom, and start making money online, this video is for you, especially if you have no clue where to start. So sit down, buckle up, and let's get going. All right, guys, welcome back. Matt Steinman here, digital lifestyle entrepreneur and founder at Armor Marketing, where I talk about the latest tips and strategies, starting and scaling an automated passive income machine online, and just creating a digital lifestyle that'll free you up to do the things you love. So if this is your first video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe button, and turn on that bell notification to get notified when I release new videos like this. Down below in the description is my number one recommendation for starting an online business. You'll see a link up at the top of the description. That is my, the, my highest, my number one recommendation for getting started with online business. Uh, in this video though, I'm gonna show you 15 different websites that could potentially earn you $100 plus per day. It's gonna be one or two websites, maybe three or four on this list that you are not familiar with that you can actually you know, start making money online with it. So I'm gonna jump into the 15 websites, go through them real quick with you. Okay, so here is number one, clickbank.com. This is geared towards affiliate marketing. It's free to join, you can create a free account. Once you do create a free account, you can come up here to Marketplace, click on the Marketplace, and you can see you get all the different uh, categories over here on the left-hand side. I recommend that you guys kind of stick to the health, wealth, and relationship categories. Those are probably the, the biggest hitters when it comes to affiliate marketing. And you can actually drill down into, you know, whatever category you want. Let's just click on one of these and I'll quickly show you. So let's say we're in the affiliate marketing space. So you can see all of the affiliate marketing products that are in the marketplace that you guys can promote. So there's 88 different ones in this affiliate marketing space. And over here on the right hand side, you can see the average price per sale. So if you guys were to sell one of these, you get a commission. Obviously that's you know part of the, that is affiliate marketing. You get commissions for promoting other people's products. In this case, you get $457 per sale on average. That one's actually pretty big. You you do want to you do want to stick to those higher price products because that's what's going to make you, you know, pretty wealthy in the long haul. So, let's go to number 2 here. The second website is shareasale.com, very similar to ClickBank. They do have, you know, additional products that ClickBank doesn't offer, so I recommend creating an account here as well. It's free to free to join. Pretty much the same thing as ClickBank here. You're gonna come up to the merchants, search for merchants, and you can kinda you know, come in here and click on these different categories, drill down into a specific niche. Simply just click join program. Some of them you'll get approved, some of them you won't, kinda depending on your, your history, if you have a website, you know, a, bu a bunch of different uh, factors go into that, uh, depending on you know, which vendor that you work with. So. That is share a sale. The next one on the list here, we're gonna move quickly right through this, is Legendary Marketer. Marketer, did I say that kind of weird? I think I did. So it's an online marketing education system. Probably the most ethical and trustworthy place to learn online business. I've personally gone through a lot of the trainings and that is actually down below in the description, my number one recommendation for starting an online business. They walk you through everything from start to finish, whether you're a beginner, uh, a little bit more advanced, everything you need to know to start an online business. So that is Legendary Marketer. They do offer uh, an affiliate program. It's on a, an approval basis. So depending on your expertise in marketing and you know promoting other people's products, they either approve or deny you. They don't approve everybody. And the cool thing with that is they do have some pretty high ticket commissions. I believe it's up to $10,000 uh, that you can earn per sale. So a, a very good education system online. The next one on the list is Upwork. This is more of a, a freelancing site where you're offering your services to people who are looking for your services. So 
I am here under the find work tab. So we can come in here and search for different jobs. You can see the kind of the, the my main feed here. Uh, I'm into the obviously the digital marketing space. So somebody's looking for a social media content. So I can click on this job here, look, see what they're looking for and actually apply to do the job for them. They are very, you get paid on time. Uh, it's very easy to work with these, you know, the, the system itself. Sometimes you do get, you know, some crazy people that you do work with, but overall it's a, it's a very good way to earn a, you know, a commission online. So that is Upwork. There's also freelancer.com. You can use fiverr.com. Those are some other websites similar to, you know, Upwork and providing your freelance services. So let's jump into the next one, guys. I'm going to move here pretty quick. This one is Flippa. Basically flipping uh, websites that are currently online that are making money. So you can come in here and purchase a website and you can see already what this, the, what these specific websites are making. So for example here, I just came in here and clicked this um, search icon up here. These are the, there's 3,800 results right now and you can see there's uh, different types. There's websites, you can do Amazon FBA, different apps that you can purchase from people. So you can see this dynamic sportsgear.com making a net profit of, you know, just under $1,200 per month. So you know that you're going to make some money once you do purchase the website. So right now this thing is selling for $13,500. You can come down here and, you know, there's plenty of plenty of options if you do have a budget for it. You know, you can purchase some of these websites here. You can purchase this one for $3,000. It's a website two hundred dollars per month it's making obviously you can go and tweak the website scale it to whatever you need to so that's flippa.com the next one is amazon fba where you can actually sell physical products on amazon by leveraging their platform they do have a, a free and a paid version i think it's like 50 fifty dollars a month to actually be an amazon seller that's basically fba is fulfillment by amazon so you purchase products send them into Amazon and they basically, obviously they, they sell them for you, ship it for you, handle everything, the fulfillment, the customer service, all that stuff. So you can do online arbitrage, you can do retail arbitrage where it's, you know, picking up stuff locally around your area and sending it into Amazon and reselling it for a profit. So that's Amazon FBA. The next one is, let's see, we are on number seven here, is creating a podcast. So you might be asking yourself, how would I actually make money creating a podcast? Well, it's basically a free free platform for advertising. And then once you do, you know, build up a following, build up a list of subscribers, you can monetize that platform by encouraging people to advertise on your on your podcast itself. So it's a very if you if you if you don't like being on video but you can kind of speak your expertise that is excuse me that is a good way to um, kind of get started get your voice out there and uh, eventually monetize that so I left this site up here it's buzzsprout.com there'll be a link down below if you do want to get started hosting your podcast podcasting is becoming kind of the crave nowadays so let's jump to the next one here, which is Pinterest. This is fairly new to me. I used to use it back in the day for, you know, kind of personal use, but you can actually leverage it for your, you know, if it's a affiliate marketing, driving them to specific offers. Pinterest does allow affiliate links on their stuff. So you could, you could, for example, take an affiliate program from ClickBank or share a sale and promote it on here by creating a pin sharing it you never know what can happen there with pinterest it's actually a it's an amazing organic traffic driver to your blog to youtube for anything pinterest will be growing over time i don't think it's quite hit its stride yet so again now is the perfect time to come in here and start making money with pinterest the next one here is teachable so if you do have some kind of expertise that you can actually create a course on this is where you can actually host your online course. Obviously, you would have to create the videos, the content and everything and upload everything to Teachable. Kind of leverage their platform for people who are looking for, you know, to learn stuff that you know. So, for example, digital uh, scrapbooking. Someone created a course on that. Uh, Sketchmaster, make fabulous cakes. So anything here, you can get started for free and you can actually take courses as well. So as you can see here up at the top right, it says create a course. So that is for 
teaching online. The next one is Dreams Time. So this is for stock photography. So I'm sure a lot of you have, you know, some of the latest and greatest iPhones, Androids attached to your hand every day. This allows you to actually upload images. They do have to be kind of professional quality, you know, composition, lighting and stuff like that. But you can actually just upload photos to dreams time once you create an account kind of earn money when people do purchase or download your photo again it does have to be you know kind of a professional looking shot so if you are a photographer why not you know leverage some of that and upload your photos it's pretty simple the next one on the list is kindle direct publishing so this is for kind of ebook creators if you do have a, a e ebook or uh, you've published something you've published something in the past, this is a good way to kind of get it out into the marketplace. It's also pretty good to leverage for marketing your business or if you have a you know some kind of product or service, it's a great way to publish online and again, leverage the platform that is Amazon because it's, everybody knows Amazon, it's a, it's a huge, it's a beast. So that is another way. The, the website here is kdp.amazon.com. The next one is drop shipping. I have the Spotify or not Spotify. I have the Shopify website up right now because this is probably the number one website that people use to actually start their drop shipping business. It's super simple to get started to creating a Shopify site. You can have it up in probably I don't know, 10 minutes. And then there's, you know, plugins and stuff that you can use to actually start your drop shipping business. For those of you that don't know drop shipping, it's basically reselling items. I guess the, the main, what most people do is purchase stuff from China, either from AliExpress or DHgate are some of the different websites. Tie that into their Shopify website and resell those at a higher price. Once those people do order from your website, the order is placed with the, the vendor in China and it gets automatically fulfilled. So that's basically drop shipping in a nutshell. So again, shopify.com, you can use WordPress with WooCommerce is also another option, but Shopify will get you up and running in no time. So the next one on the list, Quora. If you guys aren't familiar with Quora, it's a question and answer website. It is awesome for organic traffic. Now this is evergreen content that basically lives on the internet forever i guess as long as quora's around it's an amazing platform where you can show off your expertise answer people's questions you can see there's kind of different spaces over here that i am a part of let's for example click on the affiliate marketing here so you can see some of the um, answers people are providing and if you feel that you can answer some of these questions at a, a pretty high quality response then i would Highly recommend coming in here and start, you know, getting a presence here on Quora. Again, you can drive them back to your their blog, your uh, a YouTube video. You can actually embed it into your response, or you can direct them over to your YouTube channel. They don't allow affiliate marketing links, like to direct offers, but you can link them to your blog post or your YouTube video that does have affiliate links inside of there. So a very powerful way to get organic traffic. The next one is creating a blog. Obviously a lot of people are going to be using WordPress. WordPress is a great blogging platform. There is some technical experience that you need to know. Down below there's gonna be a link to get started with your WordPress blog in seven days. Uh, everything from you know picking your niche to uh, launching your first blog post. So if you guys are interested in learning about that, there is a, I think it's like a 15 or 16 page document that will run you through step-by-step -step how to start a WordPress blog. So if you guys are interested in that, down below there is a, uh, a free link to a Google document where you can kind of run through that in your own time. The last one on the list, and this is my favorite, and this is why I am actually creating this YouTube video, is YouTube the second most popular search engine in the world. I, I'm not sure the numbers, as you can see here. My channel is just getting started. I plan on using this platform over the next year, two, three years, helping people create an online business. The search engine potential is amazing. Again, it's all organic, unless you do decide to run paid traffic and stuff like that, you can, but again, a lot of people searching for solutions to their problems and then you can go ahead and provide them with recommendations down in the descriptions below your videos you can link them to you know all of your uh, social channels 
your offers, uh, whatever it may be. So probably, you know, between Quora and YouTube are, and blogging are probably the top three to get organic traffic to your offers. And that's how you kind of start earning money online through all of, um, all of these offers that you are creating for people who are looking for solutions. So those are the 15 websites tips, strategies, whatever you wanna call them. If you like this video, go ahead, click on the subscribe button. I mentioned it in the beginning, but just in case you made it all the way to the end, congratulations. You guys are on your way to starting your own online business, and I look forward to serving you and helping you get to your goals. Thanks, guys.